good afternoon, parents. Welcome uh, to another webinar together. And this webinar, honestly, for me, is one of my favorite. It's about uh, building your uh, child's uh, home library. So uh, as we are uh, going through the virtual model, as we are adjusting to uh, uh, a virtual period that uh, might be longer than uh, what we would have uh, wished for it to be. We would like to ensure that the love of reading for our students continue regardless of where they are. Books are very important, but not just reading books as assignments, more about uh, being immersed and being uh, surrounded by books. So uh, uh, myself, I have a lot of books around the house. I, uh, I love just looking at them, not even even if I don't get to read a lot of them, but but just looking at them, having uh, uh, to have them around me makes me feel better. And I hope we can share this uh, love of reading with our students uh, because uh, we believe that uh, reading is um, the vehicle for everything else. So if you can read, really, you can uh, learn science, you can learn math do anything whereas when you are struggling as a, strugg a struggler reader this is when uh, you face many difficulties to show your potential and to perform at uh, potential so with me tonight in the webinar i have uh, miss um, rawan adawi who's our uh, tech support ict teacher and she's always there to support us i have miss uh, ala aitani our prt coordinator miss linda Rauss, our early years head um, who will be answering your questions as we are going. And uh, Ms. Uh, Luna Friday, our librarian, who will be presenting this webinar. Uh, please know that uh, you can post any questions you might have in the Q&A um, section. We will answer it as soon as we can. Uh, you will not be able uh, to, to share uh, 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 orally what you have to say, but definitely we will be answering any questions that you might have or telling you that we will get back to you as soon as possible. So I'm not going to take uh, any longer from Ms. Luna's uh, time. Uh, please enjoy our webinar and uh, I truly hope that you find it as interesting as I am finding it. Enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome to, to this webinar. Uh, my name is Luna, I'm the PYP librarian and this year I'll be teaching media literacy for classes from KG2 mm -hmm. up till grade five. Uh, I hope that you will you will uh, go out of this webinar with uh, useful information as planned for it. Now I'll be sharing my screen to uh, to inform you about the stations that we have in this uh, webinar. It's uh, divided into three. I will uh, share a code, a virtual library, and then I will show you a short video on how you can build your child's home library. Uh, um, I, before going deep into the virtual library, I, I will start with this code. This code used to be one of my favorite codes, and you will know the reason now. Uh, it's an Albert Einstein, it's a, a quote by Albert Einstein. It says, the only thing that you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. Apparently, Albert Einstein was not able to predict the future enough to know that we are reaching home learning and the only location we are familiar with currently is the location of our homes. Or else I think if if he knew that he would have changed this code into the only thing that you absolutely have to know is the link to your library. The reason I mentioned the link is our virtual library. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. OK, so now we will we will walk through the virtual library. I will show you a sample that we use with grade four and five. Uh, they went through this uh, uh, sample in their first week. OK. This is going to be our virtual library. This uh, virtual library will change. The content of this virtual library will change every week according to the uh, subjects and the UOI and the interests of the students as we kept uh, a space for them to share their thoughts and to suggest their uh, ideas. Um, almost everything in this uh, virtual library is clickable except for the rug. But I think it's not going to stay like that for too long. We are thinking of something for it. 
Um, I will start with the books as I today I received a lot of e a lot of emails asking me about how to reach epic books and I'm very glad that you are already visiting this library. It's uh, it's present on in each in the tab in, in a tab in each uh, in the channel of uh, virtual library and media literacy in each grade level. Um, as you can see, I have a code that is mentioned on on the books. And, and there are uh, different piles of books and uh, every pile ha has its own hyperlink. So I'll go to uh, Epic Books first. Okay. Uh, Epic Book Epics is a, a website that provides free books only during uh, school hours. So we have to be uh, aware of this point. So it works perfectly when we have asynchronous session. Mm -hmm. uh, we click on class code, and this is the um, the thing that is tricking students usually. We don't click on login. We click on class code, and we add the code that was already mentioned on the book. And we click on go. Epic has a different uh, collection of books such as fiction and non-fiction books. I will just uh, uh, let you take a look at the books like we have a lot of books that students love a lot that they enjoy reading. Let's click on the book and just read it after adding the class code. Going back to the virtual library, mm -hmm. we have French books, we have Arabic books, and we have books in other languages that I will also show you later on. In this virtual library, I always have like uh, a pic mm -hmm. that I mentioned that uh, matches the UOI. You can click on it and and read the book that uh, mm -hmm. and usually we will have here the maker space. The maker space here will lead you to a link that will uh, allow you create um, something, a project related to the book that is already picked here or related to the UOI that the students are already uh, working at home. As you can see, we also have a gaming control controller. Uh, this, uh, as it shows, will lead you to a game. Uh, this game also will differ from a week to another. It will be related uh, uh, sometimes to media literacy, sometimes to library skills. Uh, today I chose um, Rolda mm -hmm. since because I know our students and I know that Rolda is one of their favorite uh, uh, authors. Uh, how well do you know Rolda? This is a test that they can uh, try and see how much they know their author. Uh, another thing, uh, as you can see, there is uh, a TV here and uh, this will lead you to the latest Wellspring news that the students created. For the ones who are not familiar with Wellspring news, Wellspring news is a broadcast and uh, news just like the one we watch on TV. I usually like to use the slogan that our students uh, created in the description of this news, which, which is Wellspring news is for the students from the students to the students. So it's a news that uh, talk about everything related to the school news. Uh, it includes uh, talents, it includes book reviews and different uh, um, segments that uh, students come up with most of the times. Um, uh, I received a lot of emails last year from parents asking me uh, on ways to that uh, students can join the Wellspring News. I really appreciate your love to the Wellspring News and uh, this is uh, actually pushing us to to work harder and to keep moving forward with it. So if in case uh, your uh, any student is interested in joining the Wellspring News, all you have to do is click on the Wellspring News poster and it should be mentioned that this poster is created by the students, BYP students last year. Um, when you click on this, you will go to a form. So you would just uh, mention your name, 
a teacher, a parent, also parents are encouraged to share uh, their ideas, book reviews, um, whatever they like to share on the Wellspring News. Maybe they would like to share uh, as well like um, a makerspace project. And uh, if you don't want to fill uh, a form, you can also uh, click on the iPad that I have in my hands here. And yes, this is supposed to be me. Um, OK, um, the iPad will lead you to a flip grid. Will lead you to a flip grid. You can immediately go there, sign in using Microsoft using your school email and you can immediately uh, take a video of yourself uh, doing a book review or uh, sharing anything that you would like to share and after watching it we might like you might be as a guest for next week on the wellspring news or on the on the virtual library or you can be added to the wellspring news um, as you can see here as well, we have uh, a computer. This is also a clickable computer. When you click on it, you will reach an article. So in this virtual library, we try to, to include all the library services that can be uh, given in a, in a, a classic uh, library. Uh, including the posters that we already have uh, in our library. Uh, now I will move to the. To the. Uh, library website. Um, it might be that you are familiar with this uh, uh, website because it's also included in the PYP website. Um, it, it is divided into different tabs like search engine. This uh, this website, if I want to describe it, it includes all the, the websites that are useful for uh, PYP students, like elementary students. And I also, we also have a tab here that will lead you to useful parent uh, websites and links. Let's start with search engines. If you click on search engine, you will go to uh, the different uh, search engines that are safe for elementary students. We also uh, in PYP library have a subscription to BrainPop and you can find the username and the password under the photo. So all you have to do is click on the website that you would like to try. Going to French. In French we have websites that includes uh, games and activities. Mm -hmm. In French, we have free ebooks, like these are websites that provide free ebooks in French. And we have audiobooks. So, for the ones who like to hear a book, they can click on, on these links and enjoy their listening experience. In Makerspace as well, we have the different websites that gives ideas for students and parents to create uh, different projects, art projects. Mm -hmm. My favorite one is make it at your library. We also have websites and apps for digital storytelling. Like we know uh, our students are um, a lot of them are interested in creating their own stories. I know a lot of students last year who started their own comic books and here you can find a lot of websites that allows you to create uh, your, um, your comic book for free. In the tab that says useful websites for the reading, here you can find as well um, for parents and family time, this this link uh, is also uh, will lead you to a very useful uh, websites for parents. Uh, I would like to share now the uh, common common sense. It's a very very important uh, website for parents. It will allow you to uh, to find reviews about different books and. different books and uh, uh, for example if you're you felt that your child is interested in getting um, a book or watching a movie or even playing a video game you can just search it here for
for example, I write Harry Potter because I only have Harry Potter. You can you can just um, do it as an advanced search and now we're narrow the results and uh, and uh, mention what you mean like you mean Harry Potter the game you mean Harry Potter the movie or the book I will see the movie first and this website will tell you that what is the age that uh, students can can watch this movie as you can see we can we can also see here a, a logo as a movie uh, if we continue reading, we can go uh, into more details about about the movie and you can see here like as positive messages in this movies, it, uh, this movie got four over five. You can click on it and also you can read what is the positive message that this movie is trying to give. And for example, it has violence also four over five, so it depends on your limits and what you what you like to to your 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 students to be to be uh, imposed to or not. For example, if I put the book, if I clicked on the book, I will see results on Harry Potter's book. For example, this is Harry Potter Part Two. It's also for age 12 and plus, and I can see all all the related um, information about this book. It's, it also allows me to see, uh, as I said, video games and, uh, and uh, movies and different thing, things. Uh, you can also find a lot of other useful parents uh, websites. Another thing we have is the website for news. These are websites that provide free uh, news for kids. And I would like to share the Radio Garden here because it differs from the other uh, news websites that I'm sharing here. Um, this website allow you to listen to radio in different countries. Like when you open it. You can just uh, choose a place on uh, on the on the planet on the on. Yeah, you can choose any place you want and listen to the radios that are that are in this country. This is a very interesting website. We also have free media resources in which we have websites for a royalty free uh, media. This uh, these websites we are going to use them a lot in media literacy this year, uh, as you know that not everything on uh, on the internet uh, we can use it in our uh, uh, research or uh, school projects that because it may belong to someone else. So all these uh, websites provide free clip arts, free photos, free music, free videos that everyone can use. We also have the other languages. These websites also provide free books in different languages. We have four here. So this is uh, mainly what uh, I wanted to share out in the virtual library uh, include uh, also, I would like to to just share with you uh, our students' reflection after their uh, first library session and the thoughts they shared. So students shared their favorite books. They they also shared the subject that they would like to hear in the Wellspring News. They also suggested some ideas for the virtual library to be added for the next weeks and what they want to know in library and media literacy. This year. Um, now that we finished walking through the uh, library website and the virtual uh, library, I would like to share uh, the video on how you can organize your home library. 
and um, after watching this video you are welcome to share your uh, photos the photos of the of your home library as i know many students used to to share their uh, uh, ideas and well and uh, and to uh, to describe their home library with me so i think they will be excited to share this uh, on the tablet that will be sent so let's start with the video Okay, Ms. Luna. Ms. Luna, may we ask you to repeat the video because there was no voice at the beginning. Repeat it. Uh, yes, please. It's still, I, I can't hear. I can't hear her. Uh, it's okay. It's Maybe it's the sharing options, Miss Luna. When we share the screen, uh, we need to share the audio sound of the screen as well. So if you want, you can stop sharing and share your screen one more time. I just want to say as uh, Ms. Luna is preparing her screen that uh, the Padlet that she talked about uh, that has uh, where uh, your children can upload their pictures of their home library is on the website already. It's in the main homepage of the PYP community website. And see the library. I also want to add that we shared a link for the um, the virtual library, the one with the Bitmoji that Ms. Luna had uh, shared with us earlier. Can you share one more time, Ms. Luna, on Teams? Okay, I'm sharing. Yeah. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, no. I Receives it. Thank you. One second. Uh, let's try again. It's not yet visible. Can you try one more time to share it? It seems that the connection is um, a bit glitchy. Okay. Yeah. So let's try one yeah. more time. It's okay. It has no voice. Uh, okay. Um, Maybe I think uh, on the virtual library next week, so students can can watch uh, and learn the tips that they can use in creating their virtual library. And we can we will also share the Padlet on uh, on the in the virtual library for next week. Uh, we would also like uh, to mention. Uh, Ms. Luna, if we can copy and paste uh, the uh, link. Welcome uh, to visit 9 to 3. And to you, Ms. Maha. Just saying we can share the link in the Q&A box. So if you can just copy the link of the video. Uh, her home library. Uh, so, uh, it would be great if you take care of it uh, as you are organizing yours. Uh, so can we can we post the link? It seems that the connection is um, is uh, glitchy with Miss Luna. It's okay. We can wait. Okay. Ms. Luna, if you can hear us. Yes, I 
can hear you. I'm just sending the link. Okay. okay. Uh, we apologize for uh, for what happened, uh, but I'm sure uh, the video that Ms. Luna prepared would be very satisfying to you. It's very sad, not very. It's really uh, guide you through uh, the different aspects. Uh, when I watched it, honestly, there were uh, features that I would not think about or little things that would not make sense to me, but that uh, how you put the books together, how you uh, uh, even little tips on how to hold your books. Uh, so uh, it's great, honestly, to show it to your uh, to your children and try to uh, ask them to do the same with their books instead of us doing it for them. Uh, try to help them with their own libraries that make uh, uh, sense to them. Uh, so I believe uh, Ms. Luna, I think your connection is a little weak, so I'm going to, uh, if you have any questions, please write it down right now in the Q&A, and if not, uh, we hope that you enjoyed this tour of our virtual library. Uh, we hope that you will be sending out a lot of pictures of uh, your child's library at home. I cannot stress enough on uh, how important it is to, to have a library for your children at home and to grow the slope uh, of reading. Uh, so please uh, do contact us, do contact Ms. Luna, even if you want additional tips, or if you would like us a one-on-one -on -one support, we will be uh, ready to support your child as well uh, with this task. We would gladly support them. Uh, I know I will be ready to do it. Ms. Luna will be ready to do it. Any other person on our staff, we, we love reading. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your time and we will see you uh, hopefully for our next meeting. We have another uh, webinar on Monday about uh, homeschool connections and uh, this is particularly about the website. We will be using the features there, newsletters that will be sent to you uh, and how often any other form of communications that we will be using uh, to, keeping, to keep you informed. And uh, on Tuesday, uh, there is uh, the coffee with me, coffee time with me, and this one is at 5 p.m. We have today uh, uh, one at 10 a.m. and on Tuesday it's usually at 5 p.m. for working parents. Uh, enjoy your evening and I hope to uh, see you soon. Bye.